So depression, you're thinking about the past. You're going backwards into things that aren't actually happening, right? Anxiety is is you coming up with scenarios that you think might happen in the future. But your five senses can only ever be in the present. What you hear, smell, touch, taste, and see, that is in the present. So if you can use your five senses to be in the present, usually right now is okay. The important thing about anxiety uh, is one is it's something you can release. It do, it's not a personality trait. It is something you can release. But in order to release it, you have to accept certain things. So I have created my own protocol for anxiety over the years, um, none of which was taught. And I have over 12 certifications at different times of psychotherapy. It's never been taught. But this is what I find to be effective. And, you know, Thomas and I are results oriented. This is what I've seen give results for anxiety. Number one is you have to actually believe me that it doesn't work. People only do what they think works. If you think it works, that if you worry and worry and worry, something bad won't happen, you'll keep doing it because you don't want a bad thing to happen, right? But I can tell you with about 20 years of experience working with people with anxiety, that I've never once seen someone worry something into not happening, ever once. I have never seen it work, all right? What I have seen happen every day is people manifesting their fear. I'm afraid he'll leave me, so I'll question him every day if he loves me. Guess what? Pushed him away, right? <laughs> I'm afraid I'll never get better, so I don't think I'm even going to sleep tonight or do my self-care or eat my vegetables. All right, well, yeah, you'll make sure you don't get better, right? I see people manifesting their fears every day, but I've never seen something worry something into not happening. So if it doesn't work, then maybe you can give yourself permission to let it go because you will not let it go if you don't give yourself permission. So if you're willing to believe me that it doesn't work, that now there's an opening to release. And the second is that you are coming up with possible scenarios that are not actually happening. So if you can anchor yourself in what is real, then that will help you. So what is actually real is what you can sense with your five senses. That's real. Everything else is imaginary. So depression, you're thinking about the past. Now you're going backwards into things that aren't actually happening, right? Anxiety is, is you coming up with scenarios that you think might happen in the future. But your five senses can only ever be in the present. What you hear, smell, touch, taste, and see, that is in the present. So if you can use your five senses to be in the present, usually right now is okay. So oftentimes when people are very anxious, I'll say, use your senses right now. Right, tell me where you are and what you're experiencing as if you were writing a novel. Use your senses. And if you can be in the moment where those bad things that you're imagining aren't happening, you can realize it's okay. When you are imagining bad things, you are, you're robbing yourself of the fact that you can enjoy that it's okay right now. Most of the time it is. Most of the time we're not in crisis. So five senses of realizing I can be in the present and what's real right now, usually that helps. <laughs>